The Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida is set to replace his foreign and defense ministers, broadcast NHK reported on the eve of an expected cabinet reshuffle. Mr Kishida has earlier said he plans to reshuffle his cabinet and make changes in the leadership of the ruling Liberal Democratic Party as early as Wednesday. According to NHK, the current Foreign Minister Yoshimasa Hayashi will be succeeded by Yoko Kamikawa. Ms. Kamikawa is a former justice minister who oversaw the execution of the leader of a doomsday cult that carried out a deadly sarin gas attack on the Tokyo subway in 1995. NHK said Minoru Kihara will replace Yasukazu Hamada as defense minister. Mr. Kihara currently heads a Japan-Taiwan inter-parliamentary group. Mr. Ishida explains what Mr. Kishida is hoping to achieve with this cabinet shakeup. With his approval ratings underwater, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida would again resort to a leadership shakeup in a bid to revive his popularity. With just a year left before he faces the test of a party poll, the window for Mr. Kishida to strengthen his hand by seeking a fresh mandate through a snap poll is closing fast. His support levels have been coming down quite steadily and at a level that is getting alarming you know, for Prime Minister Kishida and also for the ruling Liberal Democratic Party. Mr. Kishida wants to get re-elected as the president of the ruling party and in order to do so, he's hoping to call a snap election uh, ahead of that so that his leadership won't be contested within the ruling party. The latest survey by NHK said the approval rating for Mr. Kishida's cabinet was at 36 percent. Other polls conducted in recent weeks showed his approval ratings have stabilized around that level since they went into freefall a few months back. As Mr. Kishida considers his options, all eyes will be on the fate of Digital Minister Taro Kono. In August, Mr. Kono announced he would voluntarily return three months' worth of his salary following a series of mishaps, with the rollout of new national ID cards sparking privacy concerns. I think on, on issues that have to do particularly uh, with, for example, digitalization of the usage of the healthcare system, uh, which is very, a big deal for the elderly population who, of course, are massive in number in Japan. You know, the economy is in difficulties. People are, you know, having a hard time uh, keeping up. The Japanese general public are increasingly unhappy with its government as wage growth and post-pandemic recovery fails to catch up with the rise in commodity and energy prices. Mr. Kishida has pledged to take drastic steps to shield consumers from the impact of price hikes and further boost wage growth. Analysts said a relatively convenient way to send the signal that his government is moving in a positive direction is by having more women in his cabinet, which currently has only two female ministers out of the 19-strong team since the last reshuffle in August 2022. Since June, the public began to lose patience with the Prime Minister due to various developments, including the identification card system troubles. These derailed Mr. Kishida's plan for an early election. Mr. Kishida must plan his moves carefully from now till September 2024 to ensure his chances of keeping his LDP presidency, which is a prerequisite for the premiership. Michio Ishida, CNA, Tokyo.